I'm going to talk to you about something that came up with a client the other day and we even created and coined this phrase on the call and it's tea towel mentality and I know that is a crazy way to put things but here's what I want to say this is the basis of chasing crumbs is not going to get you where you want to be and what do I mean by that I mean by chasing the small amounts of money in your business. You know, all of us have a model that I am sure you can create a high end, you know, really great value offer that is priced accordingly. It's a great reflection of the value that you give, the transformation that you can create. And in the same vein, all of us have that ability to then take something amazing that we do and create like a snippet to create a really low level offer. Now for some of us, that is exactly the right thing to do. For some of us, it is just the natural order of things that your customers, your raving fans are gonna naturally come to you and find you. And the first thing that they buy from you is going to be a low ticket offer price point. So whether it's a product or service, however, what I find is this, that clients that have what is naturally a higher ticket offer, so something that is naturally priced in a higher bracket, so it's a more desirable product or service, when they are scaling up, they get nervous. And rather than put all of the energy and build all of the confidence that they need to, to be able to confidently, and I keep using the word confident because that's what this is about, it's confidence so that they can confidently go to their ideal clients and say, yep, yeah, this is the service I've got for you, it's perfect, or the product, this is this, um, I know exactly the transformation it's gonna create, it's what you're looking for, and it's this much. To get to that point takes confidence in building the muscle that when you speak the price, when you speak the exchange, the monetary value in exchange for the service that you offer, that you say it with belief, that you know that you know that you know you're worth it. So as I'm saying, what I'm finding is, and ever since I've started coaching, it's, it's just textbook. When we're in a level up situation where a client starts working with me and we naturally have the conversation of, how much are you charging for that? You know, you should be charging so much more. This is worth so much more. In those early days of really building the muscle of getting used to saying, this is what I charge. They tend to retreat back, like they go back into themselves and they get frightened about actually putting their money where their mouth is, about actually saying, yep, yeah, that's the price. And, you know, they, they get buyer's remorse from some clients who maybe say they're going to commit straight away, but then they come back and they they retreat back on what they've said. They're like, oh, actually, maybe I'm not going to do it or that's a bit too much for me. You know, when we get into this fear that either that's going to happen or if it does happen, we don't know how to handle these objections. And it's our monkey mind stopping us from the level up. It's our monkey mind stopping us from going forward. So this has come up with uh, one particular client that we coined the tea towel mentality of pricing. So she's a fabric designer and she naturally prints on linen. It's how her designs pop. And she came to me saying, oh, people are telling me I should start producing tea towels. So I was like, great, let's explore this. She said people were asking her to create lower ticket offers. So when we really went into this and examined why this was the case, what came from it was that she was feeling the pressure from people that were not her customers, but wanted to buy a tiny bit of her style, of her design, of her creative talent. And the only way they could do that would be if she, say, created tea towels. And she found herself slipping into this mentality, this tea towel mentality of, but these people can't buy fabric that's 130 pounds a meter, so I'm gonna have to create 15 pound tea towels. But actually, when we discussed it, we assess that the people that would be saying they'd buy 15 pound tea towels actually wouldn't because then they would look at the 15 pound tea towel and think, I'm not spending 15 pounds on a tea towel. Like that's not her customer. Her customer that might spend 130 pound per meter on fabric may well spend 15 pounds on a tea towel. 
but the people that were never going to spend £130 on fabric in the beginning would actually never even spend £15 on a tea towel. So do you see where I'm going here? It's the mentality that we put around this. So through a few weeks of discussion where it kept coming up and she kept feeling herself slip back down into this, this tea towel mentality, in effect chasing crumbs and chasing crumbs will not get you where you need to be. She realized that the tea towel mentality was just holding her back. And here's the other thing, we make things harder than they need to be. So if she just went for it and focused on what energy does she need to bring to sell 130 pound meters of fabric, to the right clients, to the ideal clients that get that she prints on linen because these particular designs don't have a background. So the linen is the background. The linen forms part of her fabric design. It's part of her thought process when she's creating it. It makes these 130 pound a meter fabrics sing and dance and be the things you want hanging at your windows because they're so exquisite. Number one, they're not thinking about tea towels. If they really want a tea towel, they'll get somebody to make them a tea towel from the leftover fabric. You know, she realized if she just focused on selling the fabric, she only has to sell, say, five meters, 10 meters to make quite a bit of money. And imagine if she had one customer buying fabric to furnish a whole hotel, you know, window treatments. She could be talking about 20, 30, 40, 50 meters of fabric at 130 pounds a meter, done. Imagine how many tea towels she's gonna to have to sell at 15 pounds each to people that probably won't even be in the game of really when push comes to shove spending 15 pounds on a tea towel. So do you see what happens here? We get duped into thinking that we should create a low ticket offer or a free offer or, and I say an offer, I'm talking generically because you could be selling a product, you could be selling a service. So I'm trying to use a blanket way of discussing this here. But do you see that it's just our fear? It's making us run away from confronting really what's going on here. Okay, so I don't know how to converse with my database. Get curious, how could I talk to my database through newsletters so that they know that this fabric is available for them to buy? How could I network and expand my network to, to create more people that will want to buy the fabric that I make so well, that I design? How can I improve my sales process? How can I do this? How can I do that? Like be curious about where the gaps are. What muscles do you need to build? What is holding you back? What are the challenges that you need to tackle head on to just make the high end offer, service, product that you sell, sell really, really well, rather than getting distracted and fearful and thinking, okay, I don't know how to sell that, I'm not selling enough, therefore why don't we go to the bottom of the pile and see what we can pull out of the dregs and sell that instead because that's gonna be so much easier to sell. It's actually not going to be easier to sell because what you're going to find is you have to sell so many more of them to make the money that you desire to have in your life to actually keep your business ticking over then you might find you're going to overwhelm you're tired you're busy you know we don't want to be busy fools I'm trying to get you to look at things differently I'm trying to get you to acknowledge a different mentality so rather than fearing increasing your rates or charging what you just should charge what you are worth be curious about what muscles do you need to build around that to make those sales easier? What are the processes you need to have in place? What's the supply chain? What um, standard operating procedures do you need? What social media do you need? What team do you need? You know, what are all the things that you need to support you in ensuring that you charge what you're worth? So this is how we came up with the tea towel mentality. And um, it was something I said to her, you're gonna see me talking about this on Instagram and here I am because I find myself quoting it all the time now with clients and it's just so easy to resonate with. I mean, I love a good tea towel, but would I pay 15 pounds for a tea towel from somebody who's got fabric that's 130 pound, really, I just want the fabric. I'm just gonna buy the fabric. So make me just wanna buy the fabric. Don't get distracted by 15 pound tea towels. 
okay? So don't get distracted in your business for selling yourself too cheap because nobody is going to thank you for it. Because whilst you are distracted about selling the £15 tea towels and then getting into overwhelm thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to sell more £15 tea towels, you're taking yourself away for creating more beautiful £130 fabrics which is what your clients really, really want. Your ideal clients want more of you in that. They do not want more tea towels. Okay, if this has resonated with you in any way, thoughts, comments, questions, leave a comment. I would love to know, is this something you're struggling with? Do you need help with really creating your worth at the top of the chain? Let me know.